Here in the pits with the driver of the 89, Steve Whitaker Jr. Steve, it was a night of highs and lows. We'll talk about the highs first, talk about the uh, limited modified feature win. Um, the limited is always strong, so I, I really never have to worry about that car. Um, we always have a pretty good night in that thing, of course. You know, it's good to race. I got a bunch of my cars were up front, so it was good to race with them and stuff. And I think I talked Jason into running it tonight, so uh, we'll see what he can do. Talk a little bit about the, the limited programs that you guys have going on with the Hughes by 89. Yeah, Jason, he builds all our frames. He, you know, we kind of started this a year ago, and it, it's been kind of, you know, I think we got 16 cars out there, and, um, you know, I, there's probably four or five of them here. Um, they all roll out of my shop. I think he's put together about four or five, and I've done the rest. Um, it, it's been it's been fun because I you know I can do whatever I want you know when I want cut well it don't matter and you know it, my customers seem to like it we run good everywhere we go so um, and just trying to keep all that stuff a secret is the hard part. We'll talk a little bit now about the low point of the night. Of course, led 23 laps in the USMTSA feature uh, contact with Austin Arnis and talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, we we was pretty good for about 10 laps. Uh, I think my car was good the entire time. We we tightened up a little bit. So, uh, and then I, you know, about lap 12 or so, for some reason, I just started slowing my entry down to three, and it just made my tightness worse. Um, I was a little free on entry, so I was trying to keep it straight, and it just, I started letting off early and was getting slower by the lap. You know, I, I figured, you know, I was going to hold on for a top four or five, and, you know, I guess I let off a little too early for Austin, and, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. We'll, we'll go on and, and race together again. It's, you know, it, it kind of sucks that, uh, you know, we didn't get the finish. I, th I think we deserved and worked for, but, um, it's racing. It's going to come. You're going to have problems with everybody, and you just you know talk about it, and move on to the next day. Talk about running down here. I know uh, probably get to run USMTS show in front of a few fans that you don't normally get to run when you do run USMTS. I'm sure that's got to be fun to come to Shady Oak Speedway. Yeah, um, it's definitely fun. You know, my family doesn't get to watch me run the mod enough, I think, and that's what I concentrate more on. Um, that's what I like to run. So. Uh, you know, for us to be racing, you know, an hour and a half from the house, you know, they'll all be here, you know, tonight. And, of course, they've been here every night, you know. But it, it does make you feel good to at least run run good in front of your family. Talk about what the plans are for the rest of the 2016 season going forward. Uh, well, we're going to start. Um, it depends if I hit the lottery or not. I mean, that's a it's a whole, it's a big difference there. Uh, but, of course, I'm going to run these next three races. Uh, I don't plan on going to Ardmore just because I have a 10,000 to win sport my race at home 15 minutes from the shop. So, um, but I guess if we're doing good in points, I won't have a choice to go but to go to Ardmore. So. Once again, that's the driver of the 89C, Steve Whitaker.